Okahanja and Oshiwarongo have already started with a basic income grant as part of a pilot project. Otavi constituency councillor George Narap also wants Otavi residents who are unable to sustain themselves to benefit from the grant. Following the registration, a report will be compiled and handed to the Ministry of Gender, Poverty, Eradication and Social Welfare for consideration. One of the criteria to be registered for the basic income grant is that one must have no source of income. If you earn anything, you don't basically qualify. You are a pensioner or you are working somewhere, then you don't qualify. So the basic income grant is focusing basically on those who are in need of the basic needs. There are other vulnerable people who need assistance but do not qualify for the basic income grant because they are registered for the marginalized grants. We are talking about San, Haikum, uh, Ovatoa, you know, these groups. And we take a decision. Uh, I take a decision and uh, get the volunteers and we went all over in our constituency to and start registering. And up to now, we registered 468 marginalized communities that are venerable, that need this assistance. Uh, in the nutshell, it says that when we deal with the appropriation bill, as we are now uh, starting on Monday with parliamentary duties at National Council, we need to seriously look into the fact uh, that Ministry of Gender and Office of the Prime Minister are adequately funded because basically all over Namibia, all of us are in, when we are in need are, are funded through the Office of the Prime Minister. The councillor says there is a need for the vulnerability grant to be revised to meet the needs of the beneficiaries. 2,595 vulnerable children were registered at the Otavi constituency office, although the grants were stopped in 2019. In the meantime, Arab is calling on the parents to try their best to look after their children to ensure that they remain in school. Evelyn Polis, NBC News, Otavi.